Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the map functionality that you can implement in your mobile app. Inside the snappy WYSIWYG editor, you can see I have a mobile app open that I've been working on. There are two opportunities to implement basic map functions within your app, either through a tab, as you can see right here in the tab section, or also by way of a button, also called an element. Utilizing a map tab, you can simply drag it down to your tabs bar and you will see a screen open up where you can input several items of information. You can title your map and also the tab name. The tab name is what the tab itself is actually called down on your tab bar. And you can also specify your icon by clicking on the specify icon button. You can choose from a number of pre-built icons in our library or you can upload one from your computer. By default, each tab has an icon already associated with it when you drag the tab down. So you would only need to specify your icon if you wanted to change it. The only other thing that you need to do to configure your map tab is to upload your spreadsheet. Here you can see a number of fields that you would want to include in the spreadsheet for your maps tab. You can also see that there are some items like latitude and longitude which are optional. The mapping feature on the maps tab and also the maps button as we're going to discuss in this video relies on the address information that you enter to do the mapping. Not only will you be able to see the locations on a map, users will also be able to take advantage of directions through their GPS functionality. You can download a sample spreadsheet to get an idea of exactly the format that should be utilized. And we're going to just upload our business list here. And you can see that I have the option to choose any of the items on my list to put in the different fields. Now, as it happens, my spreadsheet maps exactly to what is here. Each column, email column, pulls from the emails, phone column, pulls from phone numbers. Latitude and longitude, since I chose not to utilize those features, I actually am choosing the find by address. If I had loaded latitude and longitude, in this case, I simply would pick the appropriate latitude or longitude title. Once you've chosen the columns that are going to map to each of the fields here, you simply click OK and click OK one more time. You have implemented the Maps tab. What you see here on the back end is just a mock-up of what the tab would actually look like to your end users. You could test this functionality by saving your app and making sure you have downloaded the free Snappy Preview app from your App Store, you can then go onto your device, log in with your Snappy credentials. You will see the app that you have been working on, and you can go to the Map tab, making sure that your device's GPS is on, and test the functionality. Another way that you can implement map functionality within your mobile app is with a Maps button, or element, right here. The difference between a tab and a button is that the tab which you have brought down onto the tab bar here only contains one functionality. So in this instance when a user pushes on the map tab they get the map functionality on this screen. If I go to my home page here you can see I have many different buttons all doing different things on one screen. This is the instance where you would use an element or a button to bring onto a screen or page where you want to have other buttons and functionality also there. So in this case, we would bring over our map button. And when it opens up, you will see underneath that it is almost exactly the same as the map tab with only minor differences. You still can specify your icon. In this case, you have different choices since it's not a tab that requires black and white. You can select, again, from our pre-built library of icons. You can upload a photo from your computer or you can select one from the web. Again, the title right up here on your title bar 
when someone actually pushes the map button it will bring them down another level to the map and you can title that specific page whether it's map or whatever you put here you can specify the height and width of your button to go along with the other layout of buttons on your screen you can decide if it is going to be text only in this case instead of having an icon show in your button you would simply have a button that said in this case map and then you're going to upload your list exactly the same as you did for the tab again the ability to choose which fields of your spreadsheet map to the actual columns or titles here click OK and click OK again and now you can see that the icon I selected for my map is right here it is labeled map and you can see right here this is the photo that I had selected for my icon my title is right here map so my users will know what it is and when my user clicks on it they will see the map information underneath again you can test this functionality by saving your app again you can test this functionality by saving your app and previewing it on your device using the snappy preview app the other way to implement map functionality within your app is through an advanced list the functionality of the map in an advanced list is the same as the functionality here utilizing the button the only difference is that dropping a map inside an advanced list does require you to use the latitude and longitude information this is how the map recognizes all of the locations that you have manually input into your advanced list we will have another video just like this one but specifically for advanced list building and relationship information and we will be talking more about the mapping functionality utilizing the list in that video one final way that you can implement mapping functions in your mobile app is by utilizing the nearby tab the nearby tab allows you to show certain categories of vendors or information based on the users geographical location and taking advantage of the devices GPS functionalities there is a video already available that talks about nearby functionality if you would like to learn more specifically about how that button works. And that is how you implement mapping functions within your mobile app.